Hey everyone, this is Chase, the Rocky Mountain HVMC, giving you a closer look at the Moto 9 Carbon Flex Helmet from Bell Helmets. All right, today we are giving you a closer look at the Moto 9 Carbon Flex coming from Bell Helmets. This is the premium helmet in their lineup. A lot of the top riders in the world that are wearing this, like Eli Tomac, Cooper Webb, Adam Cincerulo, the entire Pro Circuit race team. And below this, you've got the Moto 9 with MIPS, and then under that, you've got the MX-9 with MIPS. What we're gonna go through, we're gonna talk about what features this helmet has that make it a premium helmet, and really what separate it from the other premium helmets that are on the market today. But before we do that, Let's talk about fit real quick. So I've actually spent a lot of time personally in the Carbon Flex for me. I love the fit of the helmet, it fits spot on and wear size medium. So for me, it's gonna fit true to size. The ecstatic liner on the inside, it's removable, washable, very comfortable against the skin. But remember, in any case, this is a helmet and it goes for any helmet that we sell at Rocky Mountain. If you are not happy with the sizing or the fit, send it back to us in brand new unused condition. We wanna make sure you get the size and the fit that you are looking for, and that is why we give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. And another cool feature about the Bell that I'll talk about is their segmented liner. So the segmented liner, that's gonna be with their EPS liners on the inside. So you'll see that the way they're cut helps give a more adaptive fit depending on the size of the rider's head and the shape. Everyone's got a different shaped head. So their segmented liners are just gonna be adaptive. That way it's gonna fit good no matter what size shape head you have. So if we look at it here, but look at the shell. Personal opinion, one of the best best looking helmets that is out there. I love the aggressive look and design of this. It's gonna be DOT and Snell rated. Carbon composite shell, it's gonna keep it lightweight but also very strong. If I had one nitpick for the Carbon Flex, it's gonna be with the weight. Size large comes in at 3.3 pounds, it's about three pounds, five ounces. It's not necessarily a heavy helmet, but when you do compare it to some of the other premium helmets that are out now, there's a lot of helmet manufacturers that have their premium helmet in a size large coming in right about three pounds. So it would be cool to see Bell do some revisions on the Carbon Flex. It's already a solid helmet and I think if they could just lighten it up just a little bit, man, that would be freaking awesome. But in any case, let's talk about venting. So here in the front, you're gonna have plenty of it. You got your mouth guard here, you're gonna have vents coming in there. You got a couple vents here on the chin bar. As you look underneath here, right on top of the eye port, you've got some vents here that are actually brow vents that are gonna help force air down into the eye port area. You're also gonna notice, show you right here, you've got these big vents right here on the sides. I like these because those are taking a lot of air, pushing it through the helmet. And then up here underneath the visor, you can see you've got a couple more vents there. Again, pulling air through. And then if you look at the back, when it comes to the exhaust vents, you got one up here on the top. You have several more here on the back. Again, taking that hot air, getting it out the back of the helmet. I talked about that segmented liner. We'll show you here in a little bit, but having those cutouts in the liner and the channels that you have also really gonna help get that air through the helmet to help this thing breathe, especially in those hotter temperatures. So that's your venting design. When it comes to the visor, it is going to be adjustable. Something kind of unique that Bell doesn't do is they do not have a center screw here on the visor. Instead, you're gonna have one screw on each side, but I actually really like their screws. You have these little flip up screws. So if you wanna adjust the visor, you just pop those up, just loosen it. It's gonna loosen up the visor, so very easy to adjust. And then you just tighten these back down. So I like how easy those screws are to use. So that's gonna be your visor scheme. Now. That's the outside. Let's take a look at the inside here. So, a couple of features right off the bat that I love about this helmet. They might not seem like a big deal, but I love them. You look at the neck strap here, the chin strap. So, your traditional D-ring, but here's what I love. You have a magnet here on the end of your strap, and it just pops right on. Super easy to use. That way, if you have gloves on, if you're kind of in a rush, you're putting it on, you're not trying to find an extra snap up here on the top of that strap, you just plug it in with the magnet. Super easy to do. So, I love that feature. If we undo this strap, you're gonna have emergency cheek pad removal system. So it's called their Magnifusion Cheek Pads. Check this out. That's how easy it was to pop out a cheek pad. So you see you have these magnets here on the back, you have magnets inside the helmet. So to pop it back in, literally, took me about a half a second. So I love that feature that way, when you're pulling the cheek pads out, putting them back in, very simple to do. So again, you can take these out, you can wash them, and put them back in the helmet, you're gonna have it nice and fresh and clean for your next ride. So those are your two cheek pads. And then you're gonna to get to your comfort liner. I'll pull this out. So there is the comfort liner. You can see lots of cutouts on there. Here's one thing that I did notice with the bell, and I'll explain why here in just a little, in a, in a sec. But the comfort liner isn't the thickest 
of the comfort liners that I've seen in other helmets. And they actually did that, I think, to kind of help reduce the size of the helmet. I'll explain that here because they actually have three different EPS liners on the inside. But there's your comfort liner. So just something that I've kind of noticed is you don't have a lot of padding here before you start to feel that EPS liner on the top of your head. But there's your comfort liner. You'll notice you're gonna be eject helmet removal ready. So if you're not familiar with that system, it does not come included with the helmet, but we do sell it on our website. But it's a little bag that you actually stick right here on the top of the helmet. It goes between the EPS and the comfort liner. And then what happens is that in the case that a first responder needs to get the helmet off as safely as possible, they'll actually pump it up. And as that bag starts to inflate, it'll help push the helmet off the rider's head. So it's a really cool safety feature. In fact, in Supercross, it's something that's required for all the riders to have. So here's the big safety features. Let's talk about them. As we look at the inside here, you'll notice very unique. Only Bell is doing this. You have three different liners on the inside. You're going to have EPP, which is this inner liner. And then you have EPO and then EPS on the very outside. And the purpose for these is to give a progressive impact absorption. You got to remember, not all crashes are at the same speed. You could be going in lower speed and still have a head injury or at a really high speed. So what they want to do is just build a liner system that no matter what speed you're traveling at, the helmet is built to absorb that much energy. So let me explain. So you've got your EPP liner here, the innermost. This is going to be for your mid-speed impacts. And then you get to EPO, this red liner. That's going to be for your low-speed impacts. And then as you get to the very outside, that's EPS. That's what we've seen a lot of other helmets already. That's going to be for your high-speed impacts. So it's really cool that they have three different liners, again, to absorb different am amounts of energy at your different speeds. And now you're here is we're going to see that segmented liner. So you see you've got these cutouts here and the liner going all the way around. Again, that's going to help this liner. You can see I can actually take my hand and move this around. So again, that's just giving that adaptive fit. So depending on the size or the shape of the rider's head, that's just going to help give a little bit better fitment when you do put this helmet on. And again, you're seeing you've got those big channels that are cut in there. That's going to help with the airflow as this helmet, as that air is working its way through the helmet. So it's pretty cool. Last thing I do want to point out is that here, it's going to be a little bit difficult to see, but they have what they call a slip zone inside this helmet. So that's going to go between the EPS liners. And that slip zone, if you're familiar with MIPS, multi-directional impact protection system, same concept. So in those rotational crashes, so you remember, not all crashes are straight up and down. You're going to be moving forward or back or side to side. So they want that liner to be able to slip or rotate just a little bit inside the helmet to mitigate those forces. So you have that little slip zone that is built in, again, to help combat those. And you know what else I love about this helmet? With all the features we just talked about, you get a five-year warranty coming from Bell. And that is it. That is the Moto 9 Carbon Flex coming from Bell Helmets. Again, very unique with their protection system, having those three different light liners or layers on the inside to help absorb energy at your different speeds, including that slip zone. A lot of cool technology that is built in. Like I said, my only nitpick, they brought the weight down just a little bit you're going to have an incredible helmet. If you guys have any questions or comments about this, leave those below. If you've ridden in the Carbon Flex, well, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. So give us your feedback. That's going to help other riders out who may be looking to pick up this as their next helmet. To get yours, it is very simple. Just click on the link or head over to RockyMountainATVMC.com. Don't forget, orders over $75 ship free. And if you're shopping for a premium helmet, you're having a hard time making up your mind, well, we do have a premium helmet buyer's guide where I put a lot of our best-selling premium helmets on the table. I go through and I talk about what features separate them from the rest and make them unique, and that will give you a good starting point if you're having a hard time. But remember, get subscribed to our YouTube channel. That way you stay up to date and you do not miss out on the latest gear guides, product reviews, and how-to videos we're constantly filming. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.